Hi, um, I'm Joy McGraw, and I'm a senior this year. I graduated in May. Um, I've uh, I've had a great time with these IDS classes. Um, I've learned so much uh, being a non-traditional student. It has been very difficult for me to um, find a major that I fit into. Uh, so. Um, being able to f find this major and take the courses that I'm actually interested in and combine them into one major was just, it was right up my alley. It was phenomenal for me. And uh, so I was able to um, to take speech therapy, which is the um, one major that um, I've worked with uh, people with speech disorders for seven years now with the company that I work for and I've always had a huge interest in helping people so family studies um, is my next was is my second concentration and it has uh, combined the two um, to be able to focus on families of people with um, speech disorders to um, better uh, help to help them better understand what their loved one is going through. Um, uh, at present, there are, you know, the speech therapist does some education about the disease itself or the disorder itself. Um, but so many times I've, I've found in, um, in uh, helping with, the, in helping the therapist work is that families are still frustrated. Uh, they don't understand why their uh, family member is not getting better, faster. Um, or that uh, they just don't seem to be making progress, or the progress is too slow, or the progress is too fast. Uh, one day they seem that they're getting better, the next day they don't. Um, and being able to sit down with a family and counsel them and educate them, let them know, uh, you know, the, the facts usually um, eases eases their minds. Uh, another thing that um, that I learned. Uh, was caregivers. Caregivers need the attention um, and deserve the attention when they're taking care of a loved one or they're hired to take care of someone. They need time for them, themselves. Uh, they have to take care of themselves in order to take care of the patient. And um, certain therapies for the caregiver, uh, for example, um, you know, possibly the, in this day and age, it's not really um, wise or uh, feasible for a family member to have more than one caregiver. It's usually when the caregiver's off uh, from work, the family members take care of the patient, you know, depending on the debility um, of the patient. So uh, caregivers definitely need to have time time to themselves. I did learn did learn that um, a, a lot of caregivers have uh, d depression and anxiety, um, and uh, just really focus on, and they actually feel guilt because they focus more on the patient um, than they tend to do themselves and feel guilty when they can't take care of the patient because they have needs as well. Um, on the counseling side of things, it, um, it's, been, uh, it, it's been easy for me to learn the material um, simply because uh, I've been around counseling all my life, not my my mother and my father were counselors, um, and uh, so we you know we had exposure to that all the time um, as children growing up. But um, I've <laughs> I've learned so much, and it has been a great course. And uh, I see in my future, my near future, um, I will continue to work for the company that I've been working for for seven years, and uh, the knowledge that I've gained um, will. Uh, help me better to understand, um, understand more, and uh, be more um, sympathetic to the families. You know, because they uh, they're in the process as well. So uh, good luck to everybody. Um, make it a great, uh, however long you have left, and uh, congratulations to those who are graduating um, this semester. I graduate next semester. Pretty excited about that and um, I appreciate everybody's help and uh, especially the instructors and um, the advisors everybody in the IDS program has been 
absolutely fantastic.